Okay, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to UV texture my Blender Jet plane in uh, the Blender Jet plane modeling in under 10 minutes tutorial. So I'm going to show you how to unwrap or rather create UV assignments for this model and then create a texture stripe where you can retexture back onto this model. Okay, let's get started. Okay, first of all, um, you should have finished modeling your uh, jet plane. Okay, which shouldn't be uh, too difficult if you follow the video. Okay, but if you go to the uh, remember to apply your mirror modifier so that when you go to edit mode, uh, the whole plane is in one piece. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to assign uh, seams UV seams on the plane because if you if you don't have any UV seams, okay, under the UV image editor, if I were to select all the faces, okay, you sh you see that nothing is uh, being shown here because we have not assigned any uh, UV assignment onto this mesh yet. Okay, so to bring up the UV assignment you just simply press U and then uh, you can just use any other UV projection. For example if I were to use unwrap you notice that it doesn't really work very well because there are no uh, seams, UV seams on this uh, model yet so it doesn't unfold very nicely. So if you use cube projection Okay, you end up with this strange projection like this. Oh, let's try cylinder. Doesn't seem to work. Okay, even sphere as well. Even if you try this uh, unwrapped smart projections, okay, just use the default settings. Okay, it's gonna give you something that is resembling the jet plane, but uh, still is not very usable. So it'll be best that if you can manually uh, assign the seams of this model and then uh, reproject them again using this project from view and then you can have a much better layout okay let's uh, try by uh, assigning the seams right now so first let me reset press U again and then reset the UVs so everything is now using the texture space all the faces are now using the texture space so I'm gonna press A to deselect okay and uh, let's start by uh, splitting this mesh model into two okay, by assigning a seam that runs all across. Okay, so I'm going to okay, I'm going to turn on this uh, occlude background geometry so that I don't see the lines behind. Hold down my Alt, right mouse click, and then I'm going to press Control E, bring up the edge specials to mark the seam. Then okay, go to the bottom here, Alt, right mouse click. Control E and then mark the seam here. Okay, I'm gonna do it for the wings here. Now, if you have an edge loop, it's much easier because uh, if you press Alt, right mouse click, you can see the root of the wing is now selected. So Control E and then I'm gonna mark the seam. Do the same for this one. Control, rather Alt, right mouse click. Now I want to select closer, not this one. Press A, deselect. Alt, right mouse click. This direction. Control E and then mark the seam. Okay, so I also want to split the wing into two pieces so that there's the upper portion of the wing and the lower portion of the wing. So I'm going to show you a trick to select the seam that can run across the edge of the wing. So I'm going to select these two, the two vertices. Okay, notice, let me make this a little bit bigger. Okay, I select one vertex here and one vertex here. Then I'm going to press Ctrl V to bring out the vertex special. I'm going to use select vertex path along the edge length. Okay, then I'm going to press Ctrl E and then I'm going to mark the seam. So I'm going to continue from here. Select this vertex. Right mouse click, select it. Okay, and then I want to the, select the vertex right over here. Holding down the shift, right mouse click. Alright, press Ctrl, Ctrl V. Select vertex path along the edge length, and now you see it magically selects the edge length for you. Then you press Ctrl E to mark the seam. Okay, later you know why I need to separate this into two halves. Alright, I'm gonna do the same for the other wing. I'm gonna show you another method of selection. Uh, hold down your Alt key, right mouse click along the vertex here. You will notice that the vertices here and here is also selected. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to deselect these. So just use the brush select, press B twice, B B, so it becomes brush select. Then middle mouse click to middle mouse click over the vertices that you don't want to select. 
Okay, and now you just right mouse click to get out so you can tumble to the rear of the plane. I'm going to press B, B again, middle mouse click over the vertices that you do not want. Okay, you have to be careful here. So now you notice that this, the edges here, which we want to assign as a seam, is now selected. Then you press Ctrl E and mark the seam. Alright, so now we have split, effectively split the uh, wings, okay, top and bottom, okay, the two halves. Okay, now we're going to do the same for the stabilizer. So first, I'm going to select the root of the stabilizer, okay, holding down your Alt key, right mouse click, okay, and then I'm going to add on to the selection, holding down the Shift and Alt, right mouse click. Now the two seams, or rather two edges, are selected. I press Control E and mark the seam. Okay, again, I'm going to split this into two. Press A to deselect, and uh, I'm going to hold down. Alt key and right mouse click along the edge here so you can see the entire edge loop runs all the way across here now I do not want to select the center portion here so again bring up my brush select BB twice middle mouse click to uh, deselect the uh, vertices that I don't need which represents the seams so I'm going to do it here BB middle mouse click okay so as you can see now I only have the edge uh, the front and trailing edge and the sides selected. Then I can assign the seam. Control E and mark the seam. So essentially, uh, the assignment of your seam is now complete. So now, if I were to select all the faces by pressing A, okay, and okay, of course, right now because we've reset this, all the faces fall in the same uh, UV space. So if I were to press U right now. And uh, okay, press U, and then I'm gonna choose unwrap. Watch what happens. Perfect. You notice that the okay. Let me make this a little bit bigger. You notice that now the plane has been separated into two halves. Okay, the wing top and bottom of the left wing, and top and bottom of the right wing, and even the stabilizer top and bottom halves of the stabilizer has been separated. Okay, but you notice that the uh, the shape is rather distorted. So we can't really use this, okay, for our uh, assigning the textures. So now I'm going to show you how to fix this layout, okay, by using uh, Project from View. Okay, in order to get this to work, first of all, you need to switch back to Orthographic View, all right? Switch back to Orthographic View. I'm going to reset the view a bit, okay, and then I'm going to switch to the side view, okay. Okay, now. I'm going to activate under the UV layout buttons here. There is this uh, sync UV mesh selection. I'm going to turn this on. Okay, and I'm going to turn my selection mode to face. Okay, so now it is in face mode. Now with this activated, whatever you select here or vice versa is going to be reflected here. Since now all the faces are selected, it's uh, now highlighted pink. So I'm going to press A to deselect them. And uh, first I'm going to fix the right side projection of this uh, model so I'm going to um, you can use the brush select press BB twice you can roll your mouse to increase or reduce the size of selection left mouse click and brush select the faces okay so now you will notice that the right side of the model is selected okay so now I come over to the 3D view here and you press U. Okay, you must right mouse click here. Press U. Uh, so and then select from uh, project from view. Okay, so once you project from view, you notice that the uh, the shape now corresponds to the shape of the jet plane. So now I'm gonna bring this uh, in in Blender. They call this islands. In Maya, they call it shells. Uh, so the UV island, I'm gonna bring this and put it aside first. We can bring this back later. And now we're going to select uh, this, the left side. So I'm going to press A to deselect, press B, B twice, and I'm going to just paint select the left side. Now, if you make a mistake, you selected other faces, make sure you deselect them. So you can uh, hold down to Shift, right mouse click to deselect this face. So now this face is selected, but it is on the other side. Now we do not want to project in this view, otherwise, we'll have exactly the same layout as this this uh, orientation okay so we need to change the view to the 
left side okay so to change the left side we know we press uh, uh, the your number pad number three you get your right view so to get to your left view you press control three so it change to your left view so now you can do your UV projection just by simply pressing U and project from view so now you can press G in the UV layout window and uh, bring this aside first okay so now here comes the uh, tricky part which you need to do the wings now uh, let me show you a trick um, let me just select the both uh, halves of the fuselage of the plane press A to deselect, I'm going to press B, border select, left mouse click and select the, um, the, the fuselage you notice on the 3D uh, view the fuselage is now selected and we're going to temporarily hide them to hide them all you have to do is just press H Okay, we, we didn't uh, delete them, we just temporarily hide them so that we can select the wings a little bit uh, better. Okay, so now let's start with the, uh, the the right wing. Okay, let's go to the front view. Okay, I'm gonna press B and you can zoom in. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in closer so that I can see the faces better. You can turn to wireframe mode by pressing Z. Press B, left mouse click and drag and select the top half of the uh, airplane wing. Okay, and then I'm going to select the top half of the. Okay, I should have just dragged a box and select both top halves. So press B, holding down to shift, and then with the add on selection to the top halves. Okay, one more time. I'm going to select, make sure I select the entire halves. Now, if you cannot see, you can just zoom in closer and see. Okay. Okay, so now the top halves of the both wings are selected so I'm gonna go to my top view okay it seems that one more face is not selected I'm gonna hold down the shift and right mouse click to select this face okay just wanna make sure that uh, I'm gonna press 1 in my front view and press 3 in my side view I just wanna make sure that I did not accidentally select any faces below okay it seems like Okay, seems like only the top faces are selected. Okay, now I go to the top view, and then I'm gonna press U and project from view. And now the two islands, the shape of the wing is now fixed. Okay, so now I'm gonna press A to deselect. Okay, I'm going to now I'm gonna show another method of selection. Okay, I'm gonna go to the bottom view. So press Control Number Pad Seven to change to the bottom view. Okay, if you only want to select the bottom faces. <coughs> Okay, for this you have to turn on to uh, solid mode, okay, uh, solid shading, and you're gonna turn on this occlude background geometry. So with occlude background geometry, if you just select in the orthographic uh, view, you only select what is visible. So I'm gonna press A to deselect everything, press uh, B to box select, and then just drag a box over it. And uh, okay, I've accidentally selected one of the faces. Okay, of the top view, I'm gonna deselect them here. Okay, so you notice that uh, the faces are now selected. Okay, so now I'm gonna project uh, from the bottom view. So I'm gonna press U and project from view. Okay, so I seems I have this little face here. I don't know where it belongs. Let me check. Okay, so it belongs to the side. So I'm gonna reassign this back to the top view. So I'm going to change to the top view, okay, press BB to brush, select, paint, okay, and I'm going to reproject this again, U, project from view, okay, and then our top and bottom wings are now uh, fixed. Okay, I'm going to just include this little face, reproject again, okay, now all the faces are happy, so our top and bottom uh, faces, the layout is now assigned. Okay, now for the tail stabilizer, in order to keep this uh, tutorial at a, a reasonable length, I'm just going to select all of them. Okay, I'm going to A to deselect first, B and select all these, and I'm just going to project from one view, which is the top view. So U and then project from view. Okay, now you notice the scaling of the wings and then the stabilizer is now a bit messed up. So and also we are missing our fuselage so let me unhide them by pressing Alt H okay so you notice the scaling is a bit off but you don't have to worry because Blender has this 
uh, UV tools called the average island scale. So go under 